Right guys, there's going to be many different situations where you need to fit a fence post onto a concrete wall such as this. Yeah, this is one here where I'm going to be running a fence off of this wall here. Yeah, sometimes you could, you know, actually put the post in the in the ground there uh, beside the, the footings of the garage. But in this case, there's obviously drainage in here, so we can't dig down and risk, you know, breaking the the drains. So best option here is to secure onto the side of the garage here. Yeah, so if you stick around, we'll show you the best way to do that. Right guys, so as we were saying, uh, the first thing to do here is to obviously determine the height of the, the post on the wall. So whether you're running a six foot fence, a four foot fence, whatever it may be, determine the height your post needs to be and cut it, obviously. Right, so I've determined the length uh, and in my case it's 1.8 meters, so we've marked it here. Now what I'm going to do now is cut this at a 30 degree angle. Uh, I'm going to use a, I'm just going to use a circular saw for this, but you can use anything. Um, you know, even a handsaw, uh, miter saw, anything. The important thing is a 30 degree angle. What we're doing here is creating a runoff for water to stop rot. Here's a picture now of just a typical post that's been squared off and left, you know, open to the elements. It just shows you how, how much it can rot. So it's very important to cut this at an angle, which we'll do now. Okay, so that's the top of the post cut. You can see there it's at a 30 degree angle. As I'm saying, what that does is makes, make sure when the water hits it, it runs off and doesn't rot the post. Okay, so once you've done that, what we want to do now is mark the post in four equal points. Uh, so we're going to be putting four bolts on this, so one at the top, one there, one there, and one roughly around here at the bottom. So, so what we need to do now is here's one here, just mark obviously in the centre, so we'll do that for all four points. Okay, so we've marked our four locations. What we want to do now is use our 32mm spade bit. What we're going to do is drill down 10mm roughly. enough so we do that in the other three locations. So what we do now is once we've drilled with the spade, 32 millimeter spade bit, that's 10 millimeters down, then we we'll go all the way through now with a 10 millimeter auger bit or you could use a drill, it's a standard drill bit. So we drill this now and we do the same for all of the other locations. Okay so this is what you end up with. So we've got a 32 millimeter hole on the outside recessed to 10 millimeters deep and then we'll have the 10 millimeter hole in the center. And what this does is we're going to be using uh, eight millimeter by 100 millimeter Timco multi-fix fixings, which are cement screws or masonry screws. Okay, so the fixings I use are the Timco multi-fix uh, fixing bolts. So pretty much these just screw directly into the concrete and once you've drilled the, the proper sized hole. Uh, the washers are 30 millimeters with a 10 millimeter hole in the center. We're going to use a 30mm washer with a 10mm hole in it. So we'll slip that on there. And that's how that'll look. And what that does, the reason you recess that 10mm, you can see that there, it's totally flush. It's not so important in my situation here where I'm taking fence rails off the side of here. But when it is important is when you're mounting a gate to here, you know, so that the gate folds onto the onto the wood, it needs to be flush. Hence why you need to recess these. Uh, typically, in my case, just because I'm fitting fence rails on the side here, uh, you don't really need to recess this. You could just drill the hole, use the washer and the, the fixing, um, and that would be adequate. So we've obviously got the, the top cut at the 30 degree angle. We've got all the, the holes drilled. Okay, so one important thing I'll mention here is whenever you cut pressure treated timber or drill into it, what you're doing there is exposing untreated wood. I mean, the, the treatment on pressure treated timber only goes in so far. So whenever you do this, you need to coat it with a preservative. Um, in my case, this is not getting painted, so I'm going to use a clear preservative. Yes, yeah, what I use is Ron Seal Total Wood Preserver, which is a clear liquid, which we can slap all over these holes now, just to make sure the wood's nice and sealed. The cut edge here as well. Yeah, so I just use this old oil painting brush. Uh, it just fits in here nicely. You dip it in. Good, nice clear liquid and just slap it all over the, the hole like that. It just preserves that bare wood. And same here on the top. Right guys, so what's the post uh, in position? So 
as you saw what we're doing earlier, here's our four holes with the recesses and the, the angle on the top, obviously. So the first thing we're going to do is get the, the height set, hold it in position and drill, drill the first hole in the top. What we're going to use to drill the first hole is an 8mm uh, drill bit. So either a masonry drill bit or a SDS drill bit. Um, I'm going to be using a SDS drill bit, which is this. Uh, but you can use just a normal drill and hammer action uh, with that masonry drill. So again, all we're going to do is set the height, mark the concrete, and then we can take that away and drill the hole. I'll show you that now. Okay, so I've set the height. I'm not worried about level or anything at this time. Just the rough area where you're wanting the post. All we're going to do is get the drill in and just give it a quick pulse. Take it out and then take the wood away. And you can see where that's marked. So what we're going to do now is just drill, drill that hole a bit further. So let's back it. Okay, so we've got our first hole there. Uh, what we're going to do now is insert the, the bolt and the washer in through here. So we've got the bolt and the wood. There it is sticking through. All we'll do now is just offer this up to the hole. That's it in the hole now. Just push it in position. There we are. So we've got our first bolt in. It's just loose just now. So what we're going to do now is nip this up with a 15mm socket and a wrench or a ratchet. So this will just nip it up now. These, these screws just take a, a bite straight away. You can feel them in. So just nip that up very slightly. <clears throat> All we're going to do now is level level the post. So we'll get the level on it now. Okay, so we've got the level on the post now. The post is quite rigid uh, because we've tightened this bolt up um, slightly. It's really level now, so what I'm going to do now is tighten that bolt ever so slightly more just to give it a good grip and then we'll check level again. Okay, so we've got that nipped up solid. It's level now, so what we're going to do now is run the the masonry drill through these holes again just to mark the position okay so we've leveled this up I've now pilot uh, or drilled through these holes to mark the wall and uh, now we can swing this out of the way I've loosened this off slightly so we can swing the wood out of the way and that reveals the holes there so what we'll do now is just drill them fully now the reason I'm doing it this way because I don't have a long enough drill <laughs> Uh, I mean, normally you would just use a long drill and go right through. Um, I can't find my long drill, so I'm just using my shorter ones now. The reason I'm not going to move this out of the way. We'll do that now. So we're just getting the, help, the, the drill into the mark. We'll just drill it now. I mean, these X-Force drills are brilliant. They actually pull themselves into the concrete as opposed to you having to push. So that's what I use all the time. Okay, so the holes are all now fully drilled. You can see them there. One, two, three. We just swing the timber back, get it level, and insert the screws and tighten them up. Okay, it's screws inserted. We're just in the process of screwing them in now with the ratchet. So just you don't need to over tighten them, just nip them up. That's enough for that one. Uh, onto the bottom one. Solid. So you can see the final fixing, it's a good fixing. Right guys, it's in position, fully level. Let's walk back. So it's it fully installed now. Uh, four fixings, absolutely solid. Now we could, we could either hinge a gate off of here or, well, in my case, I'm going to run fed trails off of this. There's an angle here for the rainwater to hit and run off. This is absolutely solid. 
So guys, that's it finished, totally solid, fairly easy to do. Um, as I say, if you like it, give it a, a thumbs up, as usual. Anybody that's new, subscribe to my channel by clicking that button there. And links to everything that was used in this uh, video will be down in the description.